everyone! Welcome back to my class! During our today's tutorial I will teach you how to paint lovely sushi in watercolor style. I will use my own watercolor brush set for that and we will use new specific watercolor technique and I'm gonna teach you how to apply this technique to our artwork. Guys, if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe, thumbs up or if you like my class, please leave the comment or if you want to see some other topics, you might leave your suggestions in a comment below. And if you're ready, grab your iPad, Apple Pencil and let's paint together! Hi guys! Hello everyone! During our today's tutorial, we're gonna paint lovely sushi in watercolor style and for that I'm gonna use my new watercolor brush set with new texture papers that I created recently. And guys, I have for you actually five different kinds of paper. I can show it to you. This is the first kind of paper. This is the second one. I don't want to spend so much time describing that. But this texture paper can give you different feelings. Uh, I need to paint on a layer where we have the title paint here. The layer is underneath our texture paper. And I will use my new stamp set, stamp brush set that I created especially for my uh, Skillshare class with different kinds of sushi. And I'm gonna use some of the brushes for creating the sketch. And guys, if you want to check this brush set, if you want to download it, uh, I will leave the link in the discussion section and you might go and check it out. So I will use this pen and let me think what else I want to add. Also, I can use a board. We have lots of options. I will use chopsticks. I'm gonna add chopsticks first. I will increase the size of my brush. Yeah, and we have chopstick here. I will leave it like that, so okay. So as you see guys, you might change the plate to another one, it's up to you. I prefer to keep it like that. And my suggestion, what else you might do, you need to create one more layer underneath of everything. And we will move to my uh, watercolor brush set that I created, it's called True Watercolor. Guys, you might use native Procreate brushes, or if you, if you have your own watercolor brushes, definitely you might use that one as well. And I will use Bo Opal uh, brush set opal brush because it's pretty suitable one and I'm gonna use the same color palettes that I created for Skillshare class it's also so remember if you if you're trying to paint in Japanese style uh, try to avoid overlappings and in Japanese style we don't have like this variety of different shades color variations all our colors so yeah, as you see, I have some overlapping, so later I need to blend this part. Don't worry, I will do it later. Like this. And I'm gonna paint everything on new layer, on one layer, not a new one. And let's move to the next part. I will use this pen and I will go to slightly purplish color from this side. And it's up to you, after that you might turn off your sketching layer or you might keep it with uh, watercolor paintings. It's up to you, I will merge it together. Wait a second. Yep, here. So now we have one sketching layer and we will paint underneath this sketching layer. Now I'm gonna go and grab the slightly lighter color, color because we need to show the lightest part. And here we also have the lightest part, even though it's far away from us, but we have some sunbeams from that side. Same here, this part will be very light. And like this thing, here we have slightly darker shade and maybe not that dark. Okay, cool. 
and here we have the darkest one because this part of pen will be in shadow so it's a darkest theme and I'm gonna go and gr grab both sharp and soft diamond as you see this brush is very thick, very big and it can help you to paint everything pretty um, easy and if you have some overlappings later you can just simply erase it I'll show it to you. Actually I want to make it a little bit lighter so I'm on this layer I go and grab hue saturation and brightness and go and make it a little bit brighter like this so as you see now, the color of this plate is the same as this part of a pen. Now I will merge it together and as I told you, I need to remove the transparency because wow, this is very very saturated, very very bright, you see it. And it's cool definitely, but I don't want to have it to be that bright. So 37% merge it together, duplicate it one more time, go to lower layer Hue saturation, brightness and move to maximum. Now we duplicate our layer in order to make it more transparent. I duplicated this and I will merge it together. And because our layer is not transparent and, and it's visible, I can blend some parts. In this way I press select, go grab blending tool. As a blender I will use boot textured emerald blender. I will lower the size and I try to blend it pretty naturally. And we will create one more layer on the top because I want our sushi to be not transparent. How to do that? I will return to Boo Opal brush and I will grab this. Uh, I think that color would be nice. And this is the color of sushi and I'm gonna add some color variations also this brush is pressure sensitive if you press harder you will have more liquid next one I'm gonna go and grab this light orange color and I will paint this lovely shrimp. Once again, we don't need to have those color variations all around because this is Japanese style of painting. It's a little bit different. So we have salmon here. Now I have some part for vegetables. And the last one is actually nori. And here we have caviar. Next part, let's remove the transparency. I will duplicate it. Go to 50-40%, merge it together, duplicate again. So guys, actually next part is I want to add some tiny bit of shades. How I will do that? I will create one more layer on the top of our pen and I will press clip and mask. I have same blue opal brush. I will move to multiply layer and I will grab light purple color and in the area where we have some like sushi I will show the shade and later and because it's multiply layer the shade will be slightly darker and if you don't like uh, the opacity or something like that we can control the opacity and make it not that bright later 
Okay, as you might see later, you might just control the opacity and make it more saturated, less saturated. It's up to you. Same I'm gonna do with this sushi. I will press clipping mask. I have same brush, same, almost same color, slightly darker color. And I want to show the shade once again. Don't forget, multiply. So the last part is we need to add some tiny details. And that will be the end of our short tutorial. And the last part, I want to add some shades from chopsticks and from plate. So I will create one more layer underneath of everything. I have this bright blue color and I think Bo Essential Onyx is pretty suitable one. Now let's go to lower layer and let's lower the opacity a little bit. Well, it's pretty lovely guys. The last thing that what else we might do is make me we can add some tiny bit of flicks and I will move to my pro set and here I have some blicks, it's Boudicca Bubbles. Ta -da! And this is the end of our class, guys. Now you know how to paint lovely sushi in watercolor style, and I hope my today's tutorial was pretty useful. Guys, if you like my tutorial, please subscribe, thumbs up, and if you want to see new topics, if you want to suggest new topics, you might leave them in the comments below. And let's see each other in a new video. Bye-bye!